Hello everyone, this is Janet with my design team project for the Piece by Piece and the store can be found at thepiecebypiece.etsy.com and I'll put the link down below. Um, when I got my design team package, when I saw this piece of these squares right here, um, I thought of owl eyes and so I wanted to do a project with owls. Um, they're very popular right now and I've really never had much to do with owls before but I thought it would be fun to make use that using that fabric and making the eyes for the owl. So I decided to make a muslin lunch bag and um, use the bag for anything but I just took a regular brown lunch bag as my template and then I just tore it apart and then use, use that to cut out my muslin fabric. I just use this thicker, heavier muslin. Um, I do have some stitching on here, but this could be done with paper. It could be done with anything, and there is absolutely no sewing necessary. I just did that more for the added elements. And so I made this bag, and of course here are the eyes. And in the center of the eyes, I used some ribbon buckles from my stash, and then I used the pearl centers that I also received from Beverly at the piece by piece. Then I made a little beak out of beads. And in the back for the body, I used this piece of trim from Beverly at the piece by piece. It made a gorgeous body to the owl. So I have that all in the background here. And then I also made, my husband said it needed ears, so I made it ears out of the scraps from the other piece of this fabric. Along the top here, I have um, the fabric that I used in this. I got on a roll, it's kind of kind of like this. I got on a roll at Tuesday morning. It was real inexpensive. It's just strips of fabric to use for a quilt. But anyway, I took some of that fabric and I pleated it just randomly. It doesn't have to be real fancy or anything. And then I sewed across the top. And I have that under back here under the eyes. And then on top of that I have a little piece of, I only have a little teeny piece left. This is all I have left of this trim, but this beautiful off-white lace. I have that going in here and then I also have, a, you can't see it, but there's a, a row behind that also. And then I used this green trim here to kind of accentuate the body. And these wings also are from the piece by piece as well as this trim also and so I put the wings on it. I stitched around the top of the bag. I, I made the front of it where the owl's head kind of comes up in the V shape so I cut that out like that and then I stitched all the way around and I stitched the bag together in the back like this but like I said you wouldn't have to use stitching you could easily use glue. And for the handles, I just took some strips of this fabric, I cut them in half, and braided three strips together. And I left them, I like the frayed edges, this is kind of a funky project, so I kind of like that look. Left some tails hanging, and then I just um, did the bottom like the lunch bag is, and just glued that. I also have a little piece of cardboard in the bottom to give it a little strength in the bottom. And inside of it, I had purchased an owl from Michael's. So I wanted to give this as a gift to someone that I know that really likes owls. And in her hair, I put a piece of the trim. I made a bow out of the aqua trim right here that's from the piece by piece and just a flower from my stash. I just didn't think it needed too much else. It's just so beautiful on its own. So I just decided to leave the rest as is. But it fits perfectly in this bag and then the bag just folds up just like a regular lunch sack so it'd be easy to store it away if you weren't using it but it could be used for so many different things so I'll give you a little closer peeks at some of the details so I just cut the circles just around the trim on the eyes and just randomly placed everything and then this is the pleated part at the top and the stitching. I love using decorative stitching and I wanted the edges to be frayed. This is kind of a funky project and I wanted it to end up looking like that and then this is the strap. 
So if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And thank you, Beverly. I love all of my goodies from your store, and it's been fun using them. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.